Right, this is Tayo Shalagwade. We just did the first video. Uh, you already know what this website is about and how the people have access to view this um, sample report that's generated by a spreadsheet that I customize and uh, reasonably automated. It's just very basic application. Right, so I'm going to show you the spreadsheet now. This is the spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet was used to generate those, those reports you're seeing, both the first and second page that I showed in the first video. And the way it works is you can see an image that is supposed to represent the dimensions of the pond here. And what, what, what happens is, first of all, you can see because I have the length of one meter here, the, the little indicator I put here says checkpoint dimensions because it doesn't make sense. Of course, so I'm going to change that to five meters and then that's gone. And you can see that reflects on the pond um, image. Uh, if I change that to seven, you can see it becomes seven here. And not just there. Um, anything you do in the application basically updates every other part of the report. So you can see, for instance, if I redo, you can see the figure change is 115, 126.5. If I make the pond uh, length to be 9 meters, so again, it's adjusted. Uh, so you now have to decide on what's reasonable for you. I'm going to return it to what it was before, 5 by 3 by 1.5. Now the point is, every aspect of this report interface you're seeing here, it looks all typed up and neatly done. You would actually assume this was just typed. But actually what I did was to, to bend Excel a little bit here and there merge cells and all of that and building formulas to make it look like the whole thing was just typed as one continuous report and so you see formulas all over the place that feed off the variables we have uh, that we make entries in, make entries of in, in here and whatever changes you make automatically affect every aspect of the report without you having to go in there to make a change now this is one aspect here that I, I would like to quickly um, adjust so I guess that gives you an opportunity to see me at work uh, doing this so I'm going to, wh what we have here is uh, um, 16,416 Naira, and but here in words, it doesn't show the same thing. So I'm going to just copy this formula from here to here. Okay, there you go. So that, that affects it. But if, when we do have um, a number that has decimal places or fractions, uh, like this one, you see how the, the same function, because that's a function, the FCT numbers letters function was developed by was designed was written by the code was written by uh, Pierre Leclerc. Here is the code. Here, okay, and he's an, a very experienced Excel developer. I've studied his work, and so you see, it does the figures and converts it to to words, okay, um, and that's how this spreadsheet application works. So if anybody, <laughs> especially those who send some funny emails, thinking this was uh, what I put on my website was just something I just typed up and I was claiming it was a spreadsheet that was used to produce it dynamically. Uh, this is the application itself. Like I said, a very basic thing. Um, and if you're interested in getting a copy, just get across to me. Um, my name is Tayo Shalabadi, as I said before. And uh, you can reach me through tayo at tkshala.com on my website tkshala.com. And I'll be glad to send you details of how you can get a copy of this spreadsheet. It's something you can actually choose to study all the, the way I built the software, the, f the, the formulas into it. Thank you.